Hey man, your bad, your boy bad Rasta. Talk the Chew TV. Talk the Chew TV. Me just want to like, share, and subscribe to the little YouTube channel, you know. But your boy bad Rasta, you don't know from TikTok sound, just come over and just go on, you know. Give me a strength and just share my video then. So right now in the morning, I'm go. You bought something for eat cause you don't know me there and you know, the foot no feel 100 percent see it's still no come back yet come and meet now and look at semi accident and you know the only thing there's some of the women out so I go straighten up a little small patty so I say provide some little food in the morning and get myself up and running, you understand me? So let's go. I have some things I'm gonna really put away right now. Yeah, I wanna put away some things I'm gonna this right now so So I'm going to lock it away in this You know This is some fufu, you know Yeah Some fufu, you know This is some fufu I'm going to put away in this Yeah, yeah my people, you don't know, you know, man, your boy, but you understand You don't know, you know So I'm going to provide a little pot, you know Get something for eat, you know, because you don't know at 10 o'clock now. You don't know. You don't know how to do it thing already. You know, I have to clean up the place first, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man. You don't know what's the thing set, you know. Yeah. So, you just get them two little new tents there. You know. Clean up. Yeah, my people, so we have to just clean up into little new tents here. You know, because you don't know the kitchen have to stay clean. And every time we are cooked, you know, you know so we don't really drum you can, you know, really cook from dirty kitchen. You understand me? Your kitchen have to clean. You understand me? So, kitchen have to clean, so clean up the few little items we have in the kitchen. You know? Right, you know? In the kitchen. Yeah, people, 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 people just want to like and show up the video, you know? That's the true TV, isn't it? So, don't know any of people. Just there, I go and kick back into the family here, you see? And just there, I go and, you know what I cook a cup of food. A whole heap of food. No? I look up at the rice and please and I have some ital and fufu. And I have the stew in the neck, you know. So beef some rice and please and some rice too, you see? Yeah, the tape so you have to clean up your kitchen before. Yeah. Yeah, you start the way out, isn't it? You clean up your kitchen and make sure you see your kitchen clean. And that means that when you do it, you know, so you just a clean environment, you know. And you know, look a dirty environment, you know. Just make your kitchen clean up and nice. And you clean up. Okay, you know? I'm fine. And you know, it's like 
Yeah. 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 You know, sometimes you buy in natural coconut at them and it's like, trust me people, you don't understand, it'll get, you know, when you bust it inside of it, ram stick. So you know, one time I just use the can, although I don't say it's really healthy, but a lot of time I just use the can, you know. Yeah, I don't say it's really healthy, you know, it's, but, you know, still use the can, you know. country mm, a lot of Caribbean people still use the tin the same way no problem about it same way you know a lot of Caribbean people you know if you don't know you know man everybody know me you know a real chef I was a real chef in Jamaica first my work where I make money off and you know everybody at Jamaica can tell you say trust me you know, when I was a little man, you know, this little man, William Sammy, and I had a little man named Keith, you know, they man they teach me to cook, Sammy, I mean, I, trust me, you know, they take me in on them wing as a little youth, eh? kind of, um, kind of, would I say, homeless, but not homeless, you understand me, but, you know, back in the days when I was homeless, you like, you know, you don't know my parents, not really have it, my father, push up my mother and you know wedding and them thing they all of them things just get erupted you know see me I say you know the you know, relationship get sour and you don't know father you know push away my mother from an early age like you know 14 so you know say upon your mother own with so many kids and grandkids and you know you know mother whole you understand me because they kinda of have you in them up in a age like you understand me so you don't know it's like kind of rough and those people take me in it was so good, you know, I was so manageable to them and, you know, they teach me to do a lot of things like, this. you know, the, the man with name Sammy, he teach me to cook and I turn out to be one of this most, trust me, awesome chef. If I cook for you, man, trust me, I'm not lying. When I cook and you eat my food, trust me, it's so awesome. I mean, I have self, but a lot of people in Jamaica know when we used to cook a dance and party and dead yard. All those places I used to cook those big pot, 50, 60 pound of rice. Yeah, I was. So, you know, I, but I still have it. You know, me see me. I still can do things, you know. So, right now, how me cook my rice and peas? I don't know about anybody else, but how me cook my rice and peas? The first thing, get my coat and powder. You know, get my coat and powder. Well, you know, so me cook my rice and peas. Me don't know about nobody else, but I'll tell you how me cook my own meat night. I get my coconut powder first because I never use one coconut powder and, and the, the tin because you know, let me tell you, shake it up first because it has a kegel up on the top. And then you know, open and I'll pour in juice and that and that. Yeah, and then you know, get probably one of you know what? Because I don't cook enough rice and peas now, I actually tell you just to cook a, a little, you see me? A little rice and peas, I'm pouring some more water in it. Huh? Yeah. So, I'm going to make this out okay. here. Because I'm going to cook a lot, you understand me? Then, as usual, I use another thin peas. And you know, fine as I tell you everything. Different are fine. A Jamaica shell, we are shell some peas or we are beat some peas, but you know, we can use a tin piece. I really kill myself and huh? walk my own. You know? So wide, you know? Alright. 
like to see it now. See you people. Come on, so nice. I'm going to rinse out the pan. A little water. I'm going to pour it in my pot. All right. Then paper. <coughs> Get a little piece of scotch bonnet pepper. And I really put the seeds and everything in it. I just cut piece in it. Yeah. Cut piece in it. Yeah. Then, get in it and get time. Get time. And get scary on. And get garlic. Get this is a little piece of onion, you know, really it was enough of you know, <coughs> this is a little piece of live minute already. Yeah. A little piece of onion. Like use a lot of natural seasoning, you know. Yeah, we get a piece of scallion. Yeah, we wash it off. A bit fat. Then we get yeah. the get a piece of ginger. Dice it up. Let's see if we can get two for the garlic. I kind of like garlic still, but it's not really that good. I kind of like garlic still. I'm going to use three for the garlic because I like garlic. I love garlic, so I use cheap pig garlic. Yeah. Yeah. And I dice it up. And then I use my stick. Thought. 
right? Then I need some fermenter. So I normally don't use my fermenter whole in the pot like that. I don't really use my fermenter whole like that. So I get it in my grinder. Oh, oh I already have grinder on the inside already. So I get back the spoon. And I get some blender fermenter. This fermenter is blend up. I pour it in. I have my little high tall season where I make high tall, just natural. I make it myself. So I get some. You know? It smells good. I put a little bit in there. You know? So I season up my pot with my peas and everything before. You know, some people season up them pot last, but I season up everything in my pot. But normally, I like to give my rice a little seasoning. So, I get a cup soup. I don't really put the, the, the spaghetti part, so I sieve out the seasoning. Because it's, I need the spice for my pot. Yeah, so I rub out it. Yeah, I rub out the... Um, it, so I leave back this part so I don't put this part in it throughout that part and I get a little bit of natural coconut oil natural coconut oil I keep a little bit inside here a little bit inside here yeah then I get I get a piece of butter. I really not butter, you know, just just um so I get a little butter, you know, just to you know get a little moisture. So I put a little bit of butter. Okay, I think that is good. So I'm gonna leave it now to make it go and boil. So, don't worry guys, I'm going to show you guys how the process through this. So, I'm going to stop the video so when I'm almost done and do other stuff, I show you right through this process. So, time out.